What's up guys? Captain Ron, the Master Apprentice here with a video. I know, it's been like forever since I've done a video. Uh, matter of fact, it's been, as of today, 61 days. So, uh, yeah, sorry about the lack of videos coming from me. Been super busy uh, and honestly, honestly just not in a creative mood. I kind of was in a slump for a little while, but gonna try to get back into things, try to get back into making videos for you, and I thought there was no other way to cap one off than to give you guys an updated toolbox tour of my toolbox. Uh, about a year and two months ago, we did a uh, video, my very first one on the channel, and we went over the toolbox and everything that I had. So people have been asking me, hey, let's get an update video. So I'm gonna give you guys one today. So uh, we're gonna take a look at that, by the way. I know everything's going on with uh, all the craziness in the world. I hope every one of my guys out there in YouTube land are being safe. I uh, hope you guys are happy, healthy, and, uh, you know, thanks for your support. So, let this guy right here, I swear, I can't do anything without him having to say something. So, forget him. Let's go look at my toolbox. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see, not a whole lot has changed on the outside. I uh, did reorganize some stuff, move a cart from one side to the other, I uh, got a nice chair now, but outside nothing really has changed. i um, got a couple stickers down at the bottom, those of you guys probably saw before. Obviously we got Rust Belt and JRC, uh, one for the box cleaners, if you guys need stuff to clean your box, go check them out. And then there's a new one down here, Tattoo Mama, she's pretty awesome. But uh, like I said, uh, not a whole lot has changed. I uh, picked up a couple new items for the outside. One of them being a SP, uh, SP Light rechargeable. So the nice thing about that is you just pull off the wall and you can go and then throw it back up there and it will also charge back up for you. Um, also, got the Snap-on rechargeable light, but I didn't buy the base. I just bought it as a... Um, individual light itself and the reason for that is because if you have a rechargeable station already it works so you don't have to pay the two hundred dollars and so odd cents for the actual light and charging station you can just pay for the light use existing charging stations and you're good to go or go the even cheaper route and this is my phone charger check this out It works off of a phone charger. So any sort of wireless charging system that you have, this will work with. So if Snap-on's trying to sell you the whole kit and caboodle with this one, and you just want the light, but you've got some sort of charging system already, this one here I think ran me like 70 bucks just for the light itself. Um, but since I already had two ways to charge it, there was no sense in me buying an actual charger for it. So just something to think about if you guys are in the market for one of those. I uh, did have to change out my computer, my laptop I had before, which is now on the bottom of my cart. You can see it poking out right there. Uh, the keyboard finally failed on it, so I had to bring in my old uh, HP laptop, which is going to get replaced at some point because the Wi-Fi is failing on it. So, fun times in the computer world. But, uh, but yeah, as for the top stuff, nothing's really too much has changed. Still got my speakers, still got all my stuff hanging up there. I do have this that was sent to me. Uh, from a company called Boltster. It is a uh, rubber mat with a bunch of holes in it, obviously. But the nice thing about this is that if you're taking apart a vehicle and you need to keep bolts and nuts in line, those just fit down in there. If they don't fit down in there, then you can kind of ram that in there and they will hold in place pick it up, move it, take it wherever you gotta go. Those aren't falling out. So that was kind of a cool thing they sent me. I was really appreciative of that. I'll give you guys a link down in the description below so you guys can go check them out. Possibly pick one up if you guys want to. Um, I use that a lot for when I'm taking stuff apart. Very, very handy to keep things organized. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. First drawer. First drawer is expanded just a little bit and reorganized. Um, still got all my sockets, obviously. Gotta have those. <clears throat> 
I haven't picked up any new ratchets lately. I've still got my my purple one and my snap on one. That's the uh, the quick or not the quick release, but the button release at the top. Um, I haven't picked up any new extensions. I did reorganize my sockets. Um, I had a, a company, Olsla Tools. Uh, they were awesome enough to send me out these um, peg stands for the sockets. So I've got all my metric sockets standing up. Um, ended up using one of the uh, SAE ones for my eTorx, which I picked up recently. Um, I was going to buy a set of snap-on ones of these, but... I got to think, thinking about it and I was like, you know what, it's $60 just to buy a, a loose set of e -torques. And I didn't really want to spend that kind of money, 70 some odd dollars for a Husk or for a uh, Matco one. So I ended up picking up a set of Husky ones for 25 bucks. It's the full set, half inch, three eighths, and quarter inch e -torques. So they all came on a rail, kind of like these. And I wasn't happy with those, so I ended up using that. Um, also from Ulsa Tools, they sent me this. This is a hex head bit set, which I use the hell out of. Um, not only do you have the long ones, they're all 3 8 or half inch. Well, they're the whole kit and caboodle, I guess. This one here is half inch, obviously. Let's get back in here. Uh, then you got your quarter inch and your three eighths, uh, both in small and long. So I use this quite often for taking uh, the center caps off of certain wheels. Very, very handy. And the fact that I don't have to come up here and get a bit and try to put it in one of these things and use it, I can just go and I can just snap it onto my wrench and go. That's really nice. So I'll give you guys a link for that down in the description below as well. Um, anything else new up here? Not really. Ended up picking up a, a fuel filter socket because I didn't have one of those. That one's off the snap-on truck. Um, I just bought it individually because I didn't need an entire set for that. So I ended up picking that up. Um, I don't remember if I had this last time or not. Um, I really like this thing. Um, Lyle tool for compressing brake calipers. Very sturdy, obviously. Uh, very handy to have. Uh, I do wish I would have picked up the dual piston one instead of the single piston, but you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. Um, also picked up this. This is for putting tubes of like your RTV in. However, I've got to get a hold of Matco because this one broke. So next time Matco comes, I'm gonna get that switched out and have that replaced. So, on to the next drawer. Alright, for drawer number two. That's a huge hodgepodge of freaking pliers. Um, let's see, what's new in here? Vampire Tools. Uh, we've got a set of those. If you guys haven't checked them out, you guys need to go back and watch uh, the live stream video with Vampire Tools with me and Rust Belt. These are some pretty awesome little pliers. I really like them, especially these little ones. Um, these are great for grabbing fuses or uh, if you're doing new preps and you have to screw an antenna on like one of the actual metal ones this is good for grabbing all that I love the fact that they have little top area to where you can actually get on top of a screw and unscrew it if you need to some really good pliers I'll put a link in the description for those as well picked up a couple sets of these because I thought I lost a pair and I found them um, came from the Matco truck Matco, what is that, PCP920. Uh, these are clip removing tools. Um, so you can get right underneath that clip, squeeze it, and pop it right off. Really great for those. Um, so like I said, I bought two of those because they're cool and I needed them. Finally got a set of these. I use these for getting into uh, taking hose clamps off. Uh, not hose clamps. Um, the depressing like fuel line clamps and stuff like that when I can't get my fingers to them. This is really nice for those. And a huge hodgepodge of other shit that I don't really use all that much. Um, probably ought to reorganize this drawer a little bit better, but it is what it is. Third drawer. Still got room to grow in here, obviously. Uh, all my punches, got my Matco picks. These are really nice picks. I like the fact that they've got little thumb indents for getting in there. Really nice set of those. Uh, all my other picks, snap-on picks, which obviously I've lost to and replaced with other 
miscellaneous random crap. Got a couple nice little scrapers here. Can't complain about those. Those were in a tool heads crate one month. And still got some room to grow. So uh, obviously all these are hooked in here with toolbox widgets. Uh, those are really nice modular uh, things to have for picks and wrenches and whatnot. So uh, we'll get into those here in just a little bit. Got my oil filter wrenches up there from Motive X. These are a really nice set of, the, of these. Use these quite often when I can't get into areas. And then got my very first pair of strippers, which obviously you don't use because they are down here in this drawer. All right, guys, so we went over this drawer just a few minutes ago, but I had to make a quick update because since recording and since posting, I've actually acquired a few new things. So one thing I did get is uh, the Snap-on guy made me a really, really good deal on a Snap-on air hammer. Uh, this is PH3050B very awesome air hammer i might actually be doing a review video over that later on down the road uh he also threw in a nice set of the uh checked bits for it so i've got long and shorts of pretty much everything and also threw in this lyle pickle fork set this is a really nice pickle fork set i've actually got to use it a couple times since i've had my uh since i've had my air hammer and the nice thing about these is that not only do you have a bar that is just a regular straight on uh, using a hammer kind, but you also have the one that is actually chucked. So you pick which pickle fork you need, you screw this into the end of it, and then you use your pickle fork as needed. So really cool set. This set here is again made by Lyle. Uh, it is uh, 41440, link in the description below for that one. And uh, yeah, it's a, he made me an awesome deal to where I could refinance everything. I ended up getting all three of these things, all three of these things, and it didn't increase my monthly payment. So that was actually a really good deal on his part. So big kudos to him. But other than that, the rest of the drawer is the same as it was a few minutes ago. Wrenches got relocated. Now they're in their own little drawer. Still need room to grow with these. Uh, I got my regular snap-on wrenches that I had when I first started. Got my gear wrench, ratcheting wrenches. And got a pair or set of SP Tools flexing ratcheting wrenches. Use those all the time. And then probably new to my box down here are the Matco double-ended uh, ratcheting wrenches. These I use all the freaking time. Uh, if you guys haven't picked up a set of these, I would highly, highly recommend getting a set of these. These are super nice to have. Nice that they're extra long so you can get into areas that you don't can't normally get into with regular inches. Definitely highly suggest getting into a set of these. Uh, where's the part number? Nope, where's the part number on these? There they are. Give you a reference. RRFXLM0810 is the 8 and 10 millimeter one. And then you can probably find the entire set from that. Obviously got my SAE ones up here, which don't ever get used. And then a bunch of modular packs for the toolbox widgets, which that's what all these are in. So you can see how nice and organized these are. Um, again, I will put a link for toolbox widget down below as well. So you guys can check those out too. They've got some new stuff coming out, which um, I'm really looking forward to looking at. So we'll see about those in the future. Next drawer down is my electric tool drawer. It used to be over here and it's grown so I don't have room for it over there. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't have room for it over there anymore. Uh, expanded on my Milwaukee tools. I got my original Milwaukee half inch fuel impact that I use every single day. Still got my 3 8 one that I use every single day. And new to the box is my 3 8 ratcheting or electric ratchet. Um, just got this probably in December-ish, um, but I absolutely love it. It is awesome, and uh, yeah, I just I can't say enough about this. Like I thought, like I would want one of the Snap-on versions of the three uh, like the Beast or something like that. But I really like this one. Um, it is very comfortable, very easy to use. Um, I've got another battery which is sitting up there that actually has a pedestal stand so you have a bigger footprint to set it up 
Uh, this one actually is, looks like the bottom of it's all kinds of, oh, this is probably the one I smashed, which is why it didn't sit flush. Yeah, because these here, this battery here will sit on its own, but I smashed that battery in our alignment rack way down there, so that's why it doesn't sit right. And then obviously I still got my uh, quarter inch snap-on electric tool that I use every single day. Dual speed screw gun, or not screw, yeah, screw gun. Milwaukee right angle drill. That's pretty much just used for backup alarms. And then the original AC Delco quarter inch that uh, that thing's on its last leg. I barely use it anymore. I think I use it for like airbag recalls and that's about the extent of it. Next one down is all my blow molded cases. I've got my cooling system filler, which right now is sitting over here drying because I used it the other day. Uh, I got my serpentine belt tool. I've got compression tester. And this I picked up the other or, uh, a couple months back. I uh, had a uh, Amazon uh, gift card, and I picked this up because I was always needing these. A uh, bunch of O2 sensor and sensor wrench or sockets. So this is a nice set. It's got a bunch of different ones in here. I use this on occasion when I got to do O2 sensors. Really nice set. I'll give you guys a look at that real quick if it'll focus. Uh, but the long and the short of it is, uh, if you guys want to check this one out, it is Gear Wrench 41720. It is a eight-piece master sensor socket set. Very, very handy to have. But uh, other than that, that's about it in that drawer. Still looking a little bare. And the bottom drawer is all my pry bars. There's another set of the uh, the big half-inch Oslo tools. Um, uh, socket rails just don't really have a reason to use it so it sits down here and just kind of occupies space at the moment got my digital torque wrench got my regular torque wrench and a bunch of random crap back in the back and now continuing on with the right side of the toolbox junk drawer literally junk drawer oh look it's my old Sinclair ID look at that face gross next one is just miscellaneous another junk drawer um, mostly zip ties just miscellaneous stuff that I keep in here scissors whatever like that third drawer is my electrical drawer which is a huge hot mess right now OBD, OBD2 scanners got two of them back here got my battery tester my uh, uh, multimeter couldn't think of words for a minute and all my other stuff that I use for wiring. And also more miscellaneous stuff. More SP tool snips. Um, my test leads. Uh, where is... Oh, there it is. Did pick this up the other day because we've been doing a lot of mud flaps for fleet vehicles. Just a uh, plastic rivet puller so I don't have to go down and steal rust belts anymore. 18 bucks at Harbor Freight. Definitely worth picking up. Next drawer, which used to be my electrical drawer, is now my air drawer. Got my half, I got my cutoff tool, half inch or three eighths half inch, my ratchets. Honestly, this one doesn't get used. These don't get used all that often anymore, to be honest. I've switched mostly over to electric. Uh, I think this one and this one are the only two that really get used anymore out of this drawer, which used to be my go-to, but now that I've expanded to my uh, electric drawer, air tools just don't have really a place anymore. But every once in a while they get broke out. Hammer drawer, still rocking that, still rocking that Craftsman claw hammer. I think I put this in here the day one. I've never, this is like the first time I've taken it out of the box, at, or out of my toolbox, I think. Uh, I got my small sledge, got my other hammer. Eventually, I'll get another hammer in there sometime. Another junk drawer with a bunch of school books, a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts, because you know, never have too many 10 millimeter bolts, and baggies to keep bolts separated. And down here in the bottom is just another miscellaneous junk drawer. You guys are gonna notice I got a lot of junk drawers still. I still don't have enough uh, tools to facilitate the entire box, but uh, still got my original 
impact that uh, Mr. Kyle gave me way back when when I was a cable tech. Obviously doesn't work anymore because it's not charged, but uh, yeah. Box cleaner spray to keep the box all nice and pretty. Getting uh, getting start. Whoops, sorry about that. Starting to get low on it, but uh, I think this is the original bottle I have, and uh, that's how much is left after cleaning the box as many times as I have. So this stuff will last you forever. If you guys need some of this, I will put, definitely put a link in the description below so you guys can go check out box cleaners because their products are awesome. And microfiber cloth that I use to clean my box. Um, definitely, this also came from uh, box cleaners as well. So definitely some awesome products there. And we've got four more drawers right here to look at. And we're gonna go through them pretty quick because there's nothing in them really either. That one's paperwork. That one's miscellaneous gloves and another Ulsla tool uh, socket thing. The only, the only downside to this one is that when I got it, this, this prong here got broke in shipping. I don't know how it happened, but it did. I don't even know if it's still in here or not. Oh, yep, there it is, right there. So that, <clears throat> excuse me, that one got broke, but it was on the uh, SAE side, so I didn't really care too much because I don't use SAE sockets all that often. Um, got my Duralast gloves here. Got my Gorilla Grip, ah, Gorilla Grip ones here. These are really nice. They're super lightweight, super thin, but you get oil on this and it becomes super sticky. So those are really great for like if you can't get an oil filter off, grab a pair of those. More textbooks from when I was in college. I probably should get rid of some of these things. Because uh, I just don't really look. I mean, honestly, this is the first time I pulled this drawer open since I put them in here, probably. And miscellaneous bags and chargers, ice scrapers, that sort of stuff. So, there you have it, guys. That is the full updated toolbox tour. Um, I guess a couple other things. I did pick up these monster uh, magnetic uh, tool racks. That one holds all my cans. I've got one up here that holds... Uh, you know, this one's holding a rag right now, but you can put all your bolts and nuts and stuff in here. Um, usually I keep it a little bit lower so I can put lug nuts and stuff in here whenever I'm working on vehicles. But as of right now, it was up here at the top. Um, still got my Blue Point cart. Still rocking that. I will eventually upgrade that to a flip top cart because um, I'm not a huge fan of the sliding top ones, but. Uh, you know, you make do with what you got, and in this economy right now, I ain't buying nothing. Still got the red card over here, like I mentioned before, with a bunch of miscellaneous stuff on it. But yeah, other than that, that's really about it for a toolbox tour, guys. Um, I really appreciate ah, appreciate you guys swinging by, saying hi. I know, again, I haven't been on here for the longest time, but uh, I'm going to try to make a... Uh, Try to make a video at least once a month. I mean, I'll try to get back in the swing of things and we'll try to get do more live streams and stuff like that. So, um, depending on how things go here at work, you might see a lot more of me like actually being on my channel just playing games. Or something. So that's gonna wrap things up. Again, if you guys haven't done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification for whenever I come out with videos. Um, and then make sure you guys leave a comment down below on what you guys think of the, uh, the updated toolbox tour. But we're gonna do all this social distancing stuff. Um, me and Kyle have to stay somewhat close because he's right there. I mean, that's more than six feet away, so we're good. You know, I don't have to worry about that. But until next time, guys, this is Captain Ron signing off, and we'll see you next time.